Hi, I'm Irene, and in this video I'm going to show you um, how to do crawl movement from the basic and some variation and also how you can apply creativity in it. Um, I love this type of movement because it's a work on the full body, um, it's work on your strength and mobility and coordination and you can add in your workout, you can add in your movement flow or you can do just a, like a short practice if you don't have time. So if you'd like to learn about crawl movement, follow me along. You don't need anything else than your body and uh, some space to practice. Um, the only things I say, just be careful to don't sleep, that uh, your floor is not so, so slippery. Um, in case you can use some um, uh, shoes or socks that are gripping on the floor you, uh, you are using. Um, so, yeah, jump with me on the practice. So we start on quadruped position. Make sure your hip are in line with your knee and your shoulder in line with your wrist and elbow. Make sure to don't collapse with your shoulder and keep your spine in neutral position. And we start play with the balance, just bringing up the opposite limb. And when you feel comfortable in doing this, you can bring up your knees, engage your core to protect your back and start playing with the balance, bringing your opposite limb up. Then you can give yourself a little bit of a rest with your wrist warming up and coming back in the same position. Start crawling forward and backward using the opposite limbs together. So your left arm with your right leg and your right arm with the left leg. Then bring up your knees and do the same things forward and backward. Make sure you engage your core to support your back. Then take a rest. And then we do the same exercise of locomotion on the side left and then on the right. Use your opposite limbs to move. When you feel confident with this exercise, you can then start bringing your knee up, engage your core and then keep moving on your left side and then your right side. With practice, you will find better coordination. And then take a rest. Then when you're ready, you can come back on quadruped position, engage your core, bring up your knees and go exploring the space, going forward, backward, on the side. Turn around. I have competition here. Then take another rest, move your wrist and your hand and if you feel ready you can come back and play with this movement. You can also bring your hips higher.
you can bring your hips lower keep exploring all the variation the possibilities and the space around you keep exploring while I try to distract my puppy from destroy the plant This movement requires quite a bit of strength, so if you feel tired, take breaks in between. And if you practice every day for just a few minutes, you will see a big improvement in your strength and also in your coordination and mobility and creativity too. You can also try for a little run with your legs or go slower and be more mindful of the movement feel free to experiment and explore with different speeds different direction of your legs and arms give yourself permission to create your own movement Keep it playful and light, have fun with it and if there are distractions, play with them. <laughs> Give yourself a break, move your wrist, your hand, shake them a little bit. Experiment and let it go. Let the body move freely and without worry how it looks. Just play with it. And if you lose coordination, go slower and be mindful about the movement. So let's finish the practice in a squatting position and give a little bit of a love and stretch to the wrist. You can come back to this practice whenever you feel like to have a full body workout in a playful way. And if you enjoy this practice, you can consider to subscribe to this new channel. And if you want to learn more, go in the description below. Thanks for practicing with me. Ciao, ciao.